Hi, uh, my name is Steve Andrews and this is my new book, Herbs of the Sun, Moon and Planets. Uh, now you may be wondering, like, how are there any herbs on the other planets? And of course there aren't. But the ancient herbalists, Nicholas Culpepper being one of the most famous, uh, had a system whereby they assigned the, the herbs to astrological rulers, uh, which were the other planets. And they did this by the characteristics that the herbs had and that the planets, and, and including the, the sun and the moon, had. And uh, I thought we'd just have a quick look around and see if we can find any, any of the herbs which uh, are listed uh, in this area here. And we have, like right behind me, a sunflower. Now, uh, the characteristics of the sunflower are pretty obvious, really. For one, it's yellow, um, like the sun, and its petals, they radiate out like the rays of the sun. So that's uh, a very obvious example of why the herbalists would have said that the sunflower was ruled by the sun. And then moving just over here, we've got we've got another sunflower actually but we've also got the morning glory and the morning glory is a herb of Saturn now Saturn most of the herbs of Saturn are uh, usually poisonous plants and this is because Saturn is associated with age and death and but in this case uh, it's more I think it's more because the, the flower is a circular flower and like of course Saturn has the rings all around it so this is like a ring flower this is the morning glory a herb of Saturn and here we have a rose and you probably won't be surprised if I tell you this is a herb of Venus this is because obviously the the goddess Venus was the goddess of love and sensuality and the rose is a symbol of love usually a red one but we got a yellow one here <laughs> And here we have a, uh, a willow, a weeping willow in fact, and this is a herb of the moon. Now you may be wondering what that's about. And basically, um, herbs of the moon are often associated with water, and this is because the moon has an effect on the tides. So that's the reason why the willow is a herb of the moon. Okay. Here we've got a dragon tree. Now it's only a little dragon tree. Mm. So it could have been quite easy to pass it by, but I spotted it and the reason it's called a dragon tree is because it has, if you cut it, it bleeds uh, a red sap, which they call dragon's blood. And why I'm talking about it is because it's a herb of Mars. And that's because Mars was the god of war. So this has got like leaves you can see, which are like, like a, a sword shape or a lance. They're sharp. They, so that's something which is aggressive, the god of war, Mars, and the red sap like blood. It's a little dragon tree. This one is a little sprig of pine from a pine tree, and the pine tree is a herb of Jupiter. Uh, there's quite a few uh, herbs of Jupiter which are trees, and this is because they expand outwards, and Jupiter is thought to be a planet to do with expansion, and of course we know it is actually a planet of gas and it's a massive planet, so expansion is a characteristic of pine tree as a herb of Jupiter. Now, we were looking earlier, we were looking earlier at the, the willow tree as a herb of the moon. This is actually a wild lettuce and it's a herb of the moon as well and the association uh, with the moon is white and I don't know if you can see but uh, if you break this it's got a white sap mm -hmm. so that's why the herbalists associated the, the lettuce with the moon Actually, you can probably see it better in this one. It's got a better stem. If I break that stem, there you are. You can see the white sap. And this white sap uh, has been used to 
uh, adulterate opium of all things and uh, this if it dries it goes black and it has like sedative properties and can be like used a bit like opium, lettuce opium. This one is quite interesting. This is a, a tree tobacco. And this is a herb of Mars. And the herbs of Mars have got something aggressive about them because Mars was the god of war. So the, the tobacco, of course, uh, it's an aggressive plant because it, you know, if you smoke it, it does us a lot of damage. It causes lung cancer, which is well known. And also, this particular type of tobacco, the tree tobacco, is aggressive in it, it colonizes ground very rapidly. It's an invasive plant. Mm -hmm. This one was growing like at the side of the road in a crack in the pavement, the sort of place it can grow. It's aggressive, it pushes itself forward. So it's an urban mars. Here, we've got a lemon verbena. It's a lovely smell. It's uh, like lemons. And this is a herb of Mercury. Now, Mercury was thought of as the messenger of the gods. So the herbs of Mercury have got something which really communicates to us. In this case, this communicates its really strong lemony smell. Lemon verbena. Finally, we're just looking at the, the St. John's wort. And this, maybe you can guess, uh, it's a herb of the sun. And this is because it's got yellow flowers, they're like the stars, and of course uh, we know that the sun is a star. And this is a, a herb that's been used to treat depression. So that's the St. John's word, a herb of the sun. And I found all these plants in this locality around here, very easy to find. There's something you can do, if you get my book, you can Maybe go out and see what plants that fit uh, as herbs of the sun, moon and planets, wherever you live. Okay, thank you.